Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Build Minecraft. Uh, last episode when we left off, we had built pretty much what you can see here, but we hadn't built the back side of the house, we hadn't built the inside of the house, or sorry, rather, guard house, toll house, um... If you missed it, so here's the entrance to the city. The idea is that you come here and there is some sort of guard station here. You can go up, talk to them, make sure you don't have to pay any fines, fees to get into the city. Have your, um, hello, frames? Have your, uh, you know, shipment checked. Make sure that you're not importing any uh, bombs or anything. Just had to check, make sure that my render distance was like, wasn't like max or something. So let's take a look around this building show you what what all has been done now the front side was all done uh, last episode i'm still unsure about this it's meant to be like a miniature tower thing a platform that you can stand on you can get a pretty good view of the gate here um pretty good view of you know if a cart were sitting down here but that's about it um uh, it's not very pretty. I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll come back to it. But let's go around it. Now, the back side. I left enough room here so that we could probably put another building here. Um, but the back side, I pretty much borrowed details from the front side. Switched up the height a lot on these windows. It's alright. I think it's pretty good for the back side of a house. Um, I kind of wanted uh, to have an alleyway type deal going here. It's, you know, pretty grungy. Um, so maybe this back area gets blocked off with a small wall. This, I don't care for. The bottom of this wall, it's very boring. It's very uniform. And um, I kind of think that we should cover it up with chests and maybe a, a wall. Make this the back section of this guard house private but let's go inside and see what we've done we did this all in live stream now here's a small entrance area um you know some little details i didn't do all the details but here's how you get out into the to the um guard station area the front door leading outside um here's another entrance area as you can see everything lays out pretty nicely we go up here have a good view all around us and up here we have quite a bit of room to work with if we want to do something with the interiors here but today i want to work on what i think is the most important part of a city now we can build these houses all day long we can put one here we can put one over there we can put one over there and it's not going to feel like a polished build. And I'll tell you why. There's no building between here and here. But what goes there is, in my opinion, just as important, if not more important than all these buildings. You need to be able to fill up, uh, we'll call it dead space, where buildings aren't. You need to be able to fill up that dead space really well if you want a successful build. So, how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we have to think about is this road that comes through. Um, I don't want it changing height as soon as we get out, so this is bad. Um, I, this change in, in elevation right here is no good. A curve is okay. So we can, let's say we bring this all the way over here. And I think we're going to have to have a change of elevation at some point because because we, we're just kind of going uphill here and that's okay but it needs to be more gradual it needs to go like that so this is all going to get swapped out with this block palette that's fairly simple now how do you bridge going up here which is an elevation change of one block from the road now there's a couple things that we can do um and you need to think of things as deliberate in a city like things that were deliberately built not so much 
working with terrain, not making it look so organic. So you need to think like if you were building this, what would you do? You'd maybe have a wall here, some stairs. One thing that I think I'd like to have is a station where you could pull up your cart just like this. Um, so the cart station might come up here, but this is obviously built up one, so we need to have stairs somewhere. So we probably don't want the stairs right here because the cart's going to pull up alongside that. So that puts the stairs right here. Let's just put some stairs down. Start with the blocks that you know you're going to have. We can use this as a corner piece. Um, we can even we can figure out how this works, but let's knock it back again. And then try and figure out how we would bridge this alleyway. You know, this alleyway could even be brought down one block. And this little entrance could be brought down one block. That could look pretty cool. Um, let's get rid of this grass. This grass is not going to be here. This doesn't need to have that step there anymore. But this is all going to be wall, I believe. So let's grab some cobblestone. I believe I have some in here. I do. And we're just going to do this type of detail. Uh, swap this out. We're going to swap out all that grass. So already, you can tell, this all feels a heck of a lot more uh you know organized the structural component of you know man-made city is there the squares the sharper angles so we need to figure out well i guess the first thing would be to remove all this grass because we know this isn't going to be grass I, I talk about this a lot i like to work with what i know is going to be there so you start with what you know and then kind of fill in the blanks as you go um, we are going to need some of that gray, whatever block that is. Um, so I'm going to work on this for a little bit. I got a bit of good feedback from these things. Now, if you don't know what these are, um, so we have our murder holes up here, right? Where, uh, potentially if there were intruders in this area, you could drop down some sort of like boiling water or oil or something. And then, uh, drainage holes for so uh, for easy cleanup, um, people seem to really like that detail, and I keep getting people asking me, "Are you gonna build sewers?" I'd love to build sewers, and I thought about this because I want to retexture the uh, the iron trap doors to look like grates. I think we'll get to that today, but I I want to do that and maybe we could like fit these along like this wall and stuff i thought so we could do like um well i don't have any stairs on me so i guess we won't but i thought it'd be really cool if we actually connect these to sewers i want to do sewers it's just like my last priority i want this stuff up here to look good and then we can worry about the stuff underneath the city um anyways so this is what we got so you come through here and we got to work on more clutter. This is so much stone. We got to work on um, figuring out things. And the nice thing about these cities is, or large builds, once you figure out something, you can keep using these details. So like, um, where do I have it? Somewhere around here. Oh yeah, we put it in here. In here, we did like a barrel like this. We can maybe do barrels like that. I have a reoccurring, recurring, uh, detail um just kind of gotta figure things out to put from place to place you know hay is like the super easy thing but why is there just hay everywhere right but anyways um there's also other things that we can do to mix things up like like let's say that this is a high traffic area and so lots of carts drop by right here right and oh let's not tear out too many now let's not get carried away but perhaps perhaps it's kind of dirty here right 
So you can tell at this section right here, this little station is different than everything else because it's got dirt everywhere, right? Um, so we know what it's for. Maybe, maybe we do that every now and then. We'll have to try, try to figure out how we do that. Another thing that I just realized, we did this over here to break up that bridge a little bit, especially from this angle, but we can definitely use wood for these um, steps. Definitely brings in a new color. I really like that. So before we had lots of grays, now we've brought in two different browns, and it's already a little bit more interesting, right? Now this road is obviously gonna going to continue on and then next thing that I want to do is maybe build right here and then we can really get that feeling of walking through this city and being surrounded by some really pretty big buildings right um so that would be a cool feeling feeling to get I think so maybe that's our next project but I think for now what I need to do is figure out little things because the clutter in a city is very very important i need more tricks so i think i'm gonna figure out some more things and i'll come back to you i figured that today was a good day to start on another house for those of you that have seen this we designed this in creative but i still wanted to go into what, what my thought process is when we build it and everything so i figured i'd do a little time lapse so the first thing that i wanted to do was distinguish the floors in design and material so the first floor here is entirely stone has these columns it's supposed to resemble a foundation that is supporting the rest of it hence the columns next we bring in wood because this is going to separate the all wood floor from the next floor which is largely wood at the left side of this building you can see that i actually start to curve it it goes back one uh, that's because the road kind of curves that way. So I think we're going to have the building curve just a little bit. And, and we're going to work that in a bit. Now something that I wanted to do here was uh, vary the depth of the building quite a lot uh, on the second floor. So it's actually going to be a pathway there that you can walk behind. And I wanted these spaces... Uh, between these columns here to be uh, widely open as far as what you can see but nothing that you could get through so there are fences and gates if the gates close you can't actually get through this through these little windows but you can de definitely see through them if you're on this little pathway and then I use jungle and oak wood for the wall behind I know it's, it's dark you can't really see right now jungle and oak wood makes a awesome material for unstained wood also, I found a new way to um, to harvest uh, what what the heck? concrete. I keep concrete and terracotta still get them mixed up. I found a good way to harvest that concrete. <laughs> just there's a water source there. Just have it drop down. Anyways, so now I bring in a roof line, and this is not the top of the roof line. There's going to be more floors above and a another roof line. So those, for those of you that don't know, this roof line is kind of uh, a throwback to our abandoned orc stronghold, which the idea behind that was that was it was uh, red and orange. It was supposed to be like a faded red roof that was built by humans and taken over by orcs. Well, these are the humans that built that keep, but their roofs aren't faded because they're well kept. So they have a brighter red roof, but same concept here. Uh, and then we bring in yet another floor design. Ooh, I flew in so well there. I'm so good. Uh, I, I thought cyan would really fit well in in this. It, would con it contrasts from this red really well without being really intrusive. And I really tested with colors a lot while I was doing this. I, I took like all of the concretes and all the stained clays I swapped them in and out. I knew I wanted something lighter, so I tried the like grays and stuff. This is the one I sailed on. You just got to test that kind of stuff. Um, and again, here's the roof line, and this one is going to be the final roof line, the top. As far as the little details go throughout this build, you just kind of got to find stuff that you like. I, I do the little detail in one spot, and then I just repeat it over and over, like these little picture frames I've put. Um, 
And then I don't think I put them in yet. This isn't a finished product, but there's supposed to be like gates in between on the sides of those picture frames and uh, kind of it adds interest and you can really see it from below. And then we have plenty of room over here for a pathway. So I went ahead and, and put that in really quickly just so that we would have a feel for the street that would be going alongside this new building. I enjoy doing those little time-lapse things. It really allows me to show the building process and still talk about it in a really compact way. But anyways, what I really want to see is how this village feels when you walk into it with buildings on both sides. Now, this building that we just watched is far from done. We'll probably do it on Wednesday night stream. But the feeling that you get... Oh. So... I think we've talked about this on live stream before, but there's, I think there's a really powerful effect to revealing a build. So when, when you're looking through here and obviously when this build is all said and done, you'll be able to see peaks of it and not just a pyramid and fog and dirt and nasty stuff over there. But right now you walk through nothing, nothing, nothing. And then bam, it's all revealed to you and you have so many things to take in all at once. That's a very powerful effect in my opinion. So, let's talk about some of the things that we've finished up. Uh, okay, so over here, I did this little thing where the idea is that you could pull your card up here, and then there's a station where, you know, the guard is uh, comes out here, and then he can get on here, and he can look into your cart if you're importing goods or something like that. So, cool little thing. This is my retextured iron gate, iron fence, iron, or, yeah, iron trapdoor. Yeah, that that thing. They should make iron gates. Uh, I think I like it. I want it to stand out, be a bit darker. Um, I, I messed around with the colors quite a bit. I had it lighter where it kind of blended in with the stone. I really didn't like that. It was, it was just one more stone color and just wasn't that great. I think I like this, though. Yeah, I think I do. So, anyways, if we go into the alleyway, we can still do lots of stuff in here. But here's the wall. Just kind of throwing some details back here. The the tree hanging over, I think, is the most uh, interesting piece. Um, it really catches your eye because it's the only green that we have here, really, other than, like, the mossy stone. So we go through here. Custom-made tree. I use spruce, spruce, spruce leaves and jungle leaves. Um, and you know, we can tie this into the build on this side when we have buildings over here. And then, you know, I, I decided to leave our street pretty wide. Um, this is the main street. I have to think about if a carriage were going through. Um, this was like the minimal amount of, of space that I wanted. I think it turned out okay. We could have maybe been safe going one more or two more. Um, but I left room over here for another small road on the side. So once we finish this building, you know, we have the option to go through here to whatever is on the other side. Our supposed wall is going to be right around here. We don't have a ton of room back here after we finish up that building. Maybe room for one more building, maybe another building and a, sm a second smaller building. Who knows? We have to do lots of room management. I really wanted to plan this whole place out in wool, but we haven't really gotten to that, have we? <laughs> see ya. <laughs> I wanted to see how everything looked from up here, and that guy was waiting right under here, and I kind of scared him into the sun, and he lost his cool. Oh, this is neat. We have a really cool view from up here with all the roofs and everything. I think this is going to be a really cool view. And there's, we're going to have an even better view because uh, there's, we'll be able to get on top of the towers up here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's going to be a cool view. That's going to be cool. Um, anyways, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was something i just put up a poll on twitter about it i think it's like split right now but would you guys be interested in a full-blown 
creative series. Excuse me. You just had a Coke. Um, I mean, like, world edit, large-scale builds, kind of like this, but even bigger. Um, things that I probably couldn't build in survival. Like, this is pretty big, but if we really wanted to, we could have gone even further with the details. We could make even larger buildings and stuff like that. But I'm not going to, because I don't want to build much higher than that. It's not that fun. Um... So if we did that, we'd keep this world. Nothing would ever happen to this world. Um, they'd be separate, but, you know, maybe there would be a bit of a division of labor, maybe less of this, and but more of both. So when I'm not feeling like uh, playing in survival, I can make an episode in creative, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but let me know if you if you would watch it, or even better, if you would not watch it, tell me, because... Um, I feel like those are the people that the people that would watch are the people who are going to be l most vocal about it. So I want to know from the people who haven't or wouldn't watch it. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.